Você se lembra no primeiro dia de aula? Tudo era desconhecido, as crianças talvez fossem novas, os professores desconhecidos. Tudo, a ansiedade que você se sentia, o nervosismo. Imagina essa situação para uma criança tão diferente, tão extraordinária como o Og. E a gente vai ver isso nesse capítulo 2 da leitura guiada em inglês do livro Wonder. Hey there, welcome to English Essential. I'm Josh Cashel. Vem comigo nesse segundo capítulo do livro Wonder. A gente vai descobrir o primeiro preceito do professor Diog, que é quando você tem a escolha de estar certo ou ser gentil. Escolha ser gentil. Esse é o, é o tema desse livro que é tão maravilhoso. Quando você tem a oportunidade, seja gentil. E a gente vai ver essa, essa situação na, quando o Og entra na escola pela primeira vez. Todas as experiências novas e as reações, da, reações das crianças, dos professores, e como vai ser o primeiro dia de aula para o Og. E lembrando que a tradução desse capítulo e de todos os capítulos, para você poder acompanhar o inglês e o português junto com o áudio, você vai encontrar no meu site inglês essencial. Com. Então vem comigo, chapter 2, Wonder. Wonder, chapter 2, School. August. I was nervous on my first day of school. Mom and Dad were nervous too. They took a lot of pictures of me and Via. Via is 14. And it was her first day, too, at her new high school. Beecher Prep isn't a long way from our house, but I didn't often go near it. I like to stay nearer home because the people on our street know me. We all walk down Amesford Avenue. Via walked next to me, and Mom and Dad walked behind us. Then we turned a corner, and we saw children in front of the school, hundreds of them, talking or standing with their parents. I kept my head down. Remember, it's the first day, said Via in my ear. Everyone's nervous. Mr. Tushman was in front of the school, talking to parents and students. One or two girls looked at me and then looked away. But that was all right. Okay, big boy, said Dad. Have a great first day, said Via. She kissed and hugged me. Mom and Dad hugged me too. Mom was going to cry, so I turned and ran into the school. I went up to room 301. There were some children in home room already, and Mrs. Petosa was writing on the board. I found a desk near the middle at the back and sat down. More children came in and sat down, but nobody sat next to me. Hi, August. It was Charlotte. She waved. I saw Julian, too, and he saw me, but he didn't speak to me. Someone sat next to me. It was Jack. Hi, August. Hi, Jack, I waved. And then I felt stupid. Waving isn't cool. After homeroom, the first class was English in room 321. I walked there quickly and sat at the back. The teacher was writing on the board. Again, nobody sat next to me. But then Jack did. He was talking and laughing with some other children. He had lots of friends. I looked around the room. Charlotte and Julian were in this class, too. 
everyone went quiet, and the teacher, Mr. Brown, started to talk. Then he wrote a word on the board. Precept. What does precept mean? Who knows? he asked. Nobody put up a hand. He wrote again. Precepts. Important things to remember. Well, he asked, what are the important things? Some hands went up, and Mr. Brown wrote some students' ideas on the board. Homework, family, parents. Soon there were a lot of words on the board. Then he wrote this. Mr. Brown's September Precept It is better to be kind than right. In your books, write the date, and then write this precept by Dr. Wayne W. Dyer, Mr. Brown told us. I'll give you a new precept every month, and we'll talk about it. And at the end of the year, during summer vacation, you can write your own precepts and send them to me. I wrote down the September precept. I think that I'm going to like school, I thought. Lunch was really hard. Everybody ran into the cafeteria at the same time, talking loudly and choosing seats. I sat at an empty table and waited. I had a sandwich and a drink in my bag, so I didn't need to stand in line for school food. Eating isn't easy for me. I've had a lot of plastic surgery on my mouth, but it's still not right, and it looks strange. Some of the children in the cafeteria were staring at me, I didn't look at them, but I knew. Is this seat free? A girl was standing by my table, holding her lunch. Yes, I said. She put her lunch on the table and sat across from me. She had a school cheeseburger, and she started to eat. Yuck, she said. You were right to bring a sandwich. Yes. My name's Summer, she said. What's yours? August. Cool. Summer, another girl came over. Why are you sitting here? Come to our table. There are too many people there. Come and sit here, Summer said. They're all waiting for me, said the girl, and she walked away. Summer looked at me, smiled, and ate some more burger. Our names go together, she said. Summer? August? Oh, yes, I said. We can make this the summer table. Only people with summer names can sit here. Is there anyone in fifth grade called June or July? She asked. There's a Maya in my homeroom, I said. May is really in spring, but I guess it's okay if she wants to sit here. There's Julian. That's like July. I didn't say anything. Mr. Brown teaches our English class, I said. Why is that like summer? When you go in the sun, you get brown, I replied. Okay, she said. And what about Ms. Potosa? 
I think Pitosa is a flower, so it's a summer thing. I have Ms. Pitosa for homeroom, I said. I have her for math, said Summer. I don't like her much. By the end of lunch, we had the names of ten children and teachers for the summer table. Is Jack a summer name? I asked. Summer thought for a second. No, she said. But if someone has a winter name and wants to be at the summer table, that's okay. Cool, I said. Summer looked like her name. Her face was brown and she had green summer eyes. Summer, fofinha, bonitinha. O Og já faz o primeiro amigo, uma amiga, essa menina Summer, já senta na mesa, já conversa, e a gente vai descobrindo aos poucos como é a personalidade do Og, que ele é realmente uma criança extraordinária. E daqui a pouco você vai ter a oportunidade de se tornar um membro exclusivo do canal Inglês Essencial, com vários conteúdos exclusivos somente para você. Então, fique ligado para essa, esse processo. Vai, vai, eu vou lançar daqui a pouco. Eu vou te notificar. Thank you so much for watching. Agora, o próximo vídeo, Chapter 3, Wonder.